What's up guys, Blade Master here bringing you the second episode of the Let's Build series where I show you interesting builds that are also powerful or powerful builds that are also interesting. In this episode we will be looking at the 2 Pila for me build which is specific to the Eastern Roman Empire. This build is very strong against rush builds but needs a bit of babysitting if you really want to maximize its potential. It combines both the aggressiveness of Tegmata and Heteria guards with the defensive capabilities of the Cohorts while also adding a ton of javelins to the mix as well. So on to the unit comp. This build has two Contari, the cheapest cavalry option available to the Romans. It also has six total Tagmata, making this another eight cavalry build. Four Levis Armature form the skirmisher contingent, which means that this army has no long range skirmish potential. These jav units are extremely cost effective though. They have a great rate of fire with nine ammunition while being super cheap at 275 talents only. We have a Palatina Guards general unit with Brace. We're not bringing a Magister Militum or a Comes simply because we'd be go over, going over the cav limit then. But if you don't care for arbitrary rules like that, feel free to bring one of those much stronger general units instead. For the infantry, we have three Heterea Guards, double handed axe units that will completely destroy everything, although this comes at a hefty price of uh, 875 talents. Finally, we have two cohorts for 375 talents each. These units are brought for one reason only. They're the cheapest unit that have access to defensive testudo. This gives them an insane boost to bracing while also giving them a 15 bonus versus cavalry. Now on to the deployment. First, we place our two Contari up in front with a, in a two rank line, covering a wide amount of space. Behind them, and similar to the Persian Bomb Squad build, we have all four of uh, Levis Armature. Be sure to cover all of them by the Contrary so that none of them can get charged head on. On our left flank we will have 3 Tagmata backed by 2 Heterea guards and on the other we will have 3 Tagmata backed by 1 Heterea and 2 Cohorts. Finally our Palatina guards will be right behind our Levis Armature. The Palatina guards general will play a very important role in this match even if he doesn't get a single kill. This build is all about rushing your opponent so you charge ahead with your Kantari which would almost always force your opponent to counter charge with his cavalry. This is of course part of your plan. Concentrate fire with your Levis Armature similar to the Naf throwers, except this time activate Brace with your general onto your javelin men. This would give them 20 plus 24 bonus versus cavalry javelins which will slaughter both your Kantari and your enemy's cav. The difference is though, while your Contrary costs 475 talents, your opponent's cab will almost definitely cost a lot more. Noble Germanic Horse, uh, for example, costs 750 which is equal to a Levis Armature and a Contrary combined. So this engagement is very rarely not cost effective for you and forms a big part of your strategy. Now for the flank battle. Charge with your left flank straight onto your opponent's flank and pop rapid advance with your two Heterea so they can rush in to support the cav battle in no time. On your right flank though, things take an unexpected turn. Don't charge your Tagmata straight ahead, instead move your cohorts in front of your Tagmata and keeping sure they are in a dense formation turn on defensive testudo. Once your opponent tries to charge your flank, he will instead hit a brick wall which also has a bonus versus cavalry. Then counter charge with their Tagmata and Heterea, giving them a massive advantage as they now didn't have to face a charge themselves. Be sure to change the targets for your Levis Armature timely. When they fire from the center onto the flanks, they will be getting flank shots onto enemy cavalry and, will, and this will also inflict very few friendly fire casualties in the process. So let's wrap up by talking about the pros and cons of this build. Pros, this build is quite diverse. You have defensive cohorts, aggressive Heterea and a lot of javelins as well. Number two, four Levis Armature with Brace enable destroy cavalry like few others. Cons, this build is very susceptible to archers and other skirmishers, so it's a poor choice to use against the Germanic factions. And two, it requires a bit more micromanagement than the average build. That's it for this episode of the Let's Build series. Let me know what you think of this build and stay tuned for more. Peace.